If you don't do this one thing, you will never find the sound effects in Final Cut Pro. In this video, I'll show you where the sound effects are and how to fix it when they're missing. I'll also show you my favorite keyboard shortcut for editing sound effects. And at the end, I'll show you where I get my free sound effects. Sound like a plan? All right, in Final Cut Pro, go up to Window, then go down to Go To and select Photos, Videos, and Audio, or you can press the keyboard shortcut Shift Command 1. Or what I usually do is I just click on this button right here to show and hide the audio sidebar. In here, you'll see photos, music, Apple TV, and sound effects. And we have thousands of sound effects in here. If you don't see these sound effects in here, it's most likely because you didn't download the additional content that comes with Final Cut Pro. When you buy Final Cut Pro, it comes with this supplemental content. It's 1300 sound effects and some preset effects, as well as some pro video formats. So if you haven't downloaded it yet, I'll link to this in the description below, but you'll just follow the instructions. So after you've downloaded and installed Final Cut Pro, you should see it in the menu up here. So with Final Cut Pro active, I'll go up here to Final Cut Pro and I'll see this little button or this link right here, download additional content. That will open up your preferences and it will find the update for you and allow you to install it. I've already installed the additional content, so it's not showing up here, but if I hadn't, it would have an update now or install button. So this is the sound effects browser. All the sound effects will be listed down here and you can scroll through and find them. You can quickly sample one by double clicking on it or by pushing this play button next to it. You can also skim the sound effect up here and I can move my playhead wherever I want and then push the space bar to start the play. I can search for different sound effects right here by clicking on the search bar and entering a term. Here's a race car driving by. I can also click up here on this effects button here and you'll see it organized by category. So I have a bunch of sound effects. And then if I click here, I have these iLife sound effects and all their different categories. I have some theme music as well. And then this is the supplemental content that comes with Final Cut Pro. Is your mind blown? <laughs> All right, let's add some sound effects to my project. I've got this video of this bad boy down here. He's getting busted. So I want some sound effects to go with that. Let's find some police sound effects. I'll click on the search bar and search for police. And let's see here, police dispatch. Let's try that one. That sounds pretty good. Let's try police station. No, that sounds inside. Okay, so this is the one I want. And I can drag and drop this into my timeline and it will add the entire sound effect. If I want just a section of it, I can click and drag on the preview up here and get just a section of it. I can also adjust my in and out points by clicking and dragging on the ends of them or by moving my playhead and pressing I for in and O for out. Let's try this right here. And now I can drag and drop this section into my timeline. Let's hear that. That's pretty good, right? I want to add this police pull away, like somebody's on the scene and they're leaving. So another way I can add it is move my playhead to the beginning. I'll select my audio effect and I'll press Q and it will add it, connect it to the clip wherever my playhead is. So if I move my playhead here and press Q, you'll see the sound effect is added right there. I can also select my sound effect and move my playhead wherever I want to insert it. And I can press W. It will insert my sound effect, splitting this clip into two sections. I can also overwrite whatever's in the primary storyline with a sound effect. I'll select my sound effect and then I'll just press D to overwrite it. You'll see it inserted it where my playhead was and it overwrote whatever was in the timeline. It replaced it. If I wanna just add the sound effect to the end of my timeline, I'll select my sound effect and press E to add it to the end. I can also use these little buttons right here to do the same thing. This one connects it wherever my playhead is. This one inserts it, splitting it in two. This one adds it to the end of the timeline. And then this one overwrites wherever my playhead is. All right, now that I've got my sound effects in the timeline, I can edit them just like any other clip. So I wanna take this one with the cop pulling away and I wanna put that later. So I can click and drag on it and move it around just like I can other clips. I can't move it above my timeline. It keeps all the audio below video. So video will be up here, titles, that kind of thing will be above. I can also trim my sound effects by clicking and dragging on the end or beginning to make it shorter or longer. I can select my audio effect and then press Control D to bring up the duration controls. And this is hours, and then this is minutes, and this is seconds, and this is frames. And I can enter a new time. So I'll enter 600 for six seconds and press enter. And now my sound effect is six seconds long. It's a little bit short, so I'm gonna drag it to match the end of this clip. Let's say I wanna move this clip over here past the second one. Did you see how the audio or the sound effects moved with it? Well, there's a way to prevent that. I'll hold down the Grov key, which is right under the escape key. And now I'll click and drag my clip and you'll see 
that the audio stayed in place and it moved the clips around and reconnected them. Time out. Are you enjoying this video? If so, will you give it a thumbs up so I know if I'm doing a good job? Thanks. And in just a second, I'm gonna show you where I get my free sound effects. But first I wanna show you that sweet keyboard shortcut for adjusting your sound effect volume quickly. All right, let's listen to this. Sounds pretty good, but the levels are off. So let's select this clip down here, the police car pulling away, and we can adjust the volume of it. But first I wanna make my audio more obvious. I'm gonna click this appearance button and make it taller. There we go, now we can see it. Now I can hover over this line in the middle and I can click down or up to change the volume. If I hold command while I do that, it moves it one decibel at a time. I can also select this audio and then use a keyboard shortcut. I'll press control and then minus to reduce the volume one decibel at a time or plus to increase it one decibel at a time. I can also select my clip and open up the inspector by clicking on this button with three sliders and then going to the audio inspector, I can change the volume with this slider right here. I can drag to the left to be quieter or to the right to be louder. Final Cut Pro uses rolls and lanes to organize your audio, including your sound effects. Click on this index button over here on the left hand side and then click on roles. You'll see some different options here. You'll have a video role, a dialogue role, and a sound effects role. And if we add some music, we'll have a music role. There we go. Now, if I click these little buttons right here, I can put that audio in lanes. So now you see I've got a dialogue lane right here, an effects lane, and a music lane. And what this does is it organizes all of those clips into one area, which makes it easier for editing. I can hide the audio lanes. Let's show them again. And now if I try and move this audio effect below the music, it pops back up into the effects lane. And the same for the music. I can't put it in the dialogues lane. If you want to focus on your audio effects, just click this little circle button next to it and it focuses the timeline onto those effects. It shrinks the music and the dialogue and the video and it really puts that front and center so that you can edit and focus just on the sound effects. Let's turn off the focus. Let's hide our audio lanes and turn off index. Let's hear our sound effects now. There we go. That sounds pretty good. But the audio just kind of starts quickly and cuts off. So hover over your sound effect and then hover over this little circle on the end or the beginning until you get a left and right arrow. Now I can use that to fade in and fade out. We'll do it for the police car as well. Now let's check it out. It's much better, it's not so harsh and all of a sudden we have these sounds gone. Now, if Final Cut Pro's built-in sound effects are not enough for you, then check out these websites. SoundSnap is a great spot for sound effects and specific kinds of music. So let's look up cops here. We have all sorts of sound effects on here, including like interrogation. Where are you on the 24th? Where are you on the 24th? This is awesome. It does cost, but it might be worth it if you have a paid gig. If you're looking for some free sounds, then go to freesound.org. You can search for anything here anything you want, police. And then you can sample it right here. If you click on the on it, you can see more information about it. And then you can click to download it. You do need a free account, however, to be able to download sound effects. Sound effects can make your video stand apart from the others, but it won't do any good if you don't know how to edit sound. I put together my top 12 rules for editing sound in Final Cut Pro. Click here to check it out.